Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. And I remember when the weirdo at the bar told me that the COVID vaccine caused AIDS. Speaking, of, I... <laughs> speaking of AIDS, speaking of AIDS. Spe Wait, hold on. There's no way that there's a proper tangent off of that. There is no way. Why have I been abandoned? Sorry, just a second. It's going to take me a minute. AIDS takes uh, usually about a minute or two, yeah. But... AIDS takes some time. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is so much. Okay. I I forgot about the unfortunately named weight loss supplement. I, I finally got my 1952 Look magazine. Okay. Um, and then I turned the page, and I saw the advertisement that says, AIDS helps me lose weight and feel better, too. <laughs> says, uh, uh, what's, what's her name? Who's this? Uh, Yvonne DiCarlo. Oh, there was someone else whose name I actually knew. But like Hedy Hedy Lamar has advertised for AIDS. Um, it's spelled A Y D S. But um, yeah, I completely forgot that was a thing. So when I turned the page and saw that advertisement, I just like I I got to experience that almost for the first time again. With AIDS, I ate less, so the weight came off. To help keep it off, when I sometimes want things loaded with calories, AIDS helps put me in control. Um. But yeah, and this this issue of Look Magazine, apparently uh, apparently this is the issue immediately following one that um, they had an article that was critical of the Jim Crow laws. And there's oh. a bunch of white people wrote in and was like, eh, black people don't want to mix with us anyway. Yeah, they're, they're like racist as fuck. However, okay. and that's just considered the norm. You know what? Bonus news item. Remind me to put this in its own video. I'll, um, I'll try to. No, you won't. Don't fucking lie. I I've but, asked you to remind me of stuff before. It never happens. I don't remember you asking me to remind you of anything. Exactly. That's my point. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's more a reminder to you while you're editing. That's like your editor's note to Rhino. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, so yeah, everybody, everybody who wrote a letter to the editor was fucking racist as fuck. Except for Mer uh, Meredith Ann Johnson from Reno, Nevada, who wrote, Until not one single case of prejudice of any kind at all exists in the United States, including my own strongly growing dislike for any person white with a southern accent, the billions of dollars spent in wars to make the world safe for democracy might be better spent right here at home. A small portion, for example, could be spent educating southerners along some other, uh, along some other line than their moronic sign painting, with the signs referring to the whites-only signs. Hmm. And then Fennec is saying, reminder to put in separate video. Are you saying separate but equal, Fennec? Is that what you're doing here? The video will be separate, but it will be equal. <laughs> and <laughs> Scott Dillahunt just sent me a $5 super chat to say separate but equal. <laughs> no, it's, put this in its own video. That was just an unfortunate, um, closely related uh, topic, but um, the the AIDS diet supplement and AIDS the diet. AIDS illness oh. are separate. This fucking and not equal. This fucking magazine, though, like the like um, like reading through. The, I mean, on the back, there's a big old advertisement for cigarettes, talking about how your uh, your throat doctors recommend smoking camels because they're milder. Um, but then there's like uh, there's an article called uh, "We're Losing the Battle Against Sin." Oh uh, there's God. another one called Are U.S. Teenagers Rejecting Freedom? Uh, there's another one called Suffer Little Children, which I've actually looked into that one. It's it's this very heart wrenching article about like um, uh, orphans that were caused by the Korean War. Oh, like Korean orphans. So like that's actually so like a really thought provoking children. Yeah. So that's like a really thought provoking, intriguing article. Um, with a lot of pictures that like I had not seen from the Korean War before. I didn't know the Korean War had that kind of documentation. I, like I was always under the impression the Vietnam War was the first one where cameras were really a big thing. Um, oh yeah, there's also uh, 
There's also a, 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 a piece on um, an Olympian mm-hmm. figure skater named Dick Button. So that's Is- fun. Isn't it funny how major support for U.S. in any war drastically went down the minute documentation of real-time stuff started to increase? Yeah. That's that's such a weird thing. It's so strange. Yeah. It's almost like how the uh, the amount of miracles that happen in the world went down uh, as okay. cameras increased in prevalence. No, I don't up. mean the first photograph war. Okay, no, I think it's uh, the Vietnam War was the first one where there was like video coming out that was live and un edited or whatever um but that's one of the things that surprised me about this was that like it was very clearly showing the korean war in a definitely not positive light and i think this was from 1952 i'm pretty sure the korean war was still active then um korean war went from 1950 to 1953 so this is towards the end of the korean war what why why am i giving the dog a treat because he deserves it. Look at him. She. Well, no, she's gender fluid because the kid who named her can't remember whether it's a he or she. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, this this um, just like thumbing through this magazine have actually been it, it's actually been really fascinating to me, like just to see even like the difference in advertisements over the year, the difference in the way the articles were written, some of the similarities in the way the articles were written. Um, and it's it's kind of fascinating and I kind of want to do a video about it, but I'm not sure how to do that or what channel to put it on. Uh, Donald says four to five men who have tried camels prefer women. (laughs) (laughs) Vietnam war was the first televised war and the Korea war is still ongoing. Yeah. Kind of technically. Every, everyone in my chat is slowly punning freedom so it's it went from free dumb D U M B to to free mom. Apparently, we're trying to free hostage milfs now. Ooh, I, I could get behind that. I'm I'm sure you could. I got me a hostage milf. <laughs> no, she's not a hostage. She is here willingly. <laughs> Unless that's the scene for the day. <laughs> she's not a hostage. Unless there's a safe word. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but that's that's the news articles, as well as a little bit of a bonus look into my look magazine, which it's it's fun that I now have an official business receipt that like it had a description of it. And the description is cute young woman in exercise leotard or something like that. It's like I have a I have an official business receipt explaining why I bought a magazine with pictures of cute young women in it. My God. <laughs> 